Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to do an unboxing video of the Tonic Craft Kit number 20 and then I'm going to share some inspiration. So first let's take a look on what's included. You will get a big roll of this twine, really handy to have. This is a bottle of Nouveau Drop, the color is Caramel Latte and I'm going to swatch it for you. This is not one of the minis, you will get the full size product. This is a jar full of uh, sequins in a lovely champagne color. A really beautiful color, I find it very elegant. You will also get a jar with a shimmer powder. You apply a little bit of powder on your project and then spray it with water and you will see the effect. The color is falling leaves but if you take a closer look you will see that you don't only get greens but also little dots of blues as well as yellows. This is a mini crystal drop and the color is dirty bronze. You also get a mini spray bottle of the mica mist, the color is wild olive. Nuvo has a big range of those uh, mica mists, they are really shiny. I believe this is a, one of their new colors. But you get enough product in this mini jar, so I think it will last you for a long time. Now it's really hard to catch on camera how shiny this is. It's a lovely olive color and you will see that all the colors match perfectly with the papers that I'm going to show you later on. Now in this kit uh, you will also get one of those ring binders where you can uh, keep your envelopes with your dies and uh, your stamps nicely organized. They fit four of those envelopes and you get those uh, ring binders every quarter. So here is the previous one with uh, the four months inside, nicely organized on my bookshelf. Now let's take a look at the stamps and the dies on this kit. Now this kit comes with uh, exclusive stamps and dies just like always along with a sticker and uh, you can see the color theme of the kit on that sticker. Let's take a look at the stamp set first. Just like always you get one little stamp set. This comes with six stamps. This time you get a dragonfly, a ladybug, a little bow, the word love as well as those two triangles that fit nicely inside the box the die that cuts out the box, to decorate it. Now in the kit you will get this big die that uh, is uh, really helpful to create a beautiful box and uh, I'm going to show you how you can use that. You also get all those dies that fit inside uh, the spaces that you can use to create little windows on your box as well as uh, a little uh, heart tag and uh, you also get the dies to cut out the dragonfly as well as the little um, ladybug. In the video today I'm going to show you how you can create the box and different variations but I'm also going to show you that uh, with these dies and the stamps you can easily create a card so it's not just for creating boxes. Now just like always the kit is packed with products so here is the 6x6 uh, paper pad. It comes with 24 pages, 4 different designs, 6 pages for each design. Subtle designs in greens and yellows and all the pages are double sided. And here is a look on all the cardstock that you will get, lovely specialty papers here, along with the regular matte ones. You will also get embossed paper, and I absolutely love this wood grain, I think I'm going to have to buy a whole pack of that. And you will see most of this uh, paper in action as I'm creating my projects now. So first I'm going to create a simple card. I will use this uh, pattern paper that has this beautiful hood crane texture on top of it. Now this is very thin, so you need to stick it somewhere to give it some stability. I have created a um, card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to stick it down using my Nouveau Deluxe at the back. Now you get lots of dies in the kit and these, if you cut them out of uh, cardstock, you will see that you will get a beautiful lace looking uh, detail. And uh, I'm going to show you here how it's going to look. I'm not going to use this idea for this card, but I just wanted to show you all the different options with all the dies. So think of windows with beautiful designs on top. They even give you squares to cut out this beautiful design in two different sizes. You can also use this to create shaker cards, so many different ideas here. For this card however I went really simple, so you will be able to use this design as a masculine card. I used the two squares 
in the card kit to cut out all those little pieces out of uh, cardstock that was included in the kit and I'm just sticking one on top of the other making sure that I offset them so you can see a touch of that uh, beautiful uh, shimmer cardstock at the back. I'm going to add some foam squares and then I'm going to stick those uh, little uh, elements on top of my panel. I also used the green cardstock to cut out three of the dragonflies, the die is included in the kit and I'm going to stick the dragonflies on top of the squares that I created making sure that I don't, they don't align completely just to add some interest on my card. Now I should have added a little bit of curve on the um, wings before I stick them down but I forgot to do it. So I'm adding only a dot of glue at the center of the dragonfly and now this is where I remember that I needed to add some dimension so I'm just using my pick tool there to lift them up a little bit. So this is a lovely card for any occasion especially for a man and uh, I'm only going to add a sentiment for that I'm using a sentiment from the previous kit that says for you I'm going to stamp it with brown ink and I'm going to die cut it with a matching die. Again these, the stamp and the die come from the previous kit. I added tiny little foam squares at the back of my sentiment and my card is ready. And here are some close up photos. Now I'm going to create a box. This die fits twice inside the letter sized or an A4 sized cardstock for Europeans and I'm going to cut it out twice. I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine and it fits the normal die cutting machines. It's not bigger than six inches. And at this stage, if you want, you can add any of those decorative elements inside those windows to create little uh, cutouts so that you can see through your box. For my case, I decided to go to do something different, so I'm going to cut out the little ladybug there just to create a fun window. Now, you can also cut out square windows if you want to. So many different options for your boxes. So here is what I have up to now. And now I'm going to use my bone folder and reinforce the scoring lines that I got from die cutting. Before I put those two pieces together, I need to make sure that nothing is going to fall out of the window. Remember, I used one of the dies to cut out that little window. And again, you can use any of those and even on all the sides if you wish so. But to make sure that nothing is going to fall out, I'm going to add some uh, double sided tape at the back and then I'm going to stick on top a little piece of acetate. So I'm going to peel off the backing. And I have a little piece of acetate here that I have cut out already. I'm going to stick that there and my window is ready. So now I'm ready to stick all those two die cuts together. For that I'm going to use some double sided tape on the flaps. And then I'm going to peel off the double sided tape and just put everything together. So each piece at a time. It's really easy to put together and it is uh, quite self-explanatory really. Now I do have another base, you can chop it off if you want to or you can leave it as I did in this box for more stability. But it's really not necessary. So I'm going to slide one on top of the other and you will see that they are going to fit perfectly together. Now this is going to turn into a really beautiful box and it's going to look as if you have lace at the top and uh, I think it makes a perfect uh, party favor box for um, really any occasion depending on which uh, type of uh, pattern paper or cardstock you will use and I'm going to show you lots of examples today so you get an idea of how lovely this uh, die is. So all I have to do now is to put uh, one inside the other, make sure that the flaps are nicely connected and you can use your bone folder to reinforce that connection here. And you also have two tiny little flaps at the top that you need to stick those as well. So my box is ready now and all I have to do is to just uh, push everything together. 
you can add anything inside and secure it with a bow. For this box I went really simple, so white cardstock and just some uh, red touches as a, an accent color. So I'm just using some satin uh, red ribbon to tie the top of the box. And I also die cut a little uh, heart. This is a tag heart that I stamped on top for you. And I also stamped and die cut the little ladybug which I glued on top of my window. And finally here is how my first box is looking. Now I'm going to show you that um, you can use any 6x6 paper to create the box, it doesn't have to be a big one, so you can use any pattern papers that you have on your stash. For this example I'm using satin cardstock, but it is 6x6, six six. I'm going to use 3 of those uh, papers. Two of them I'm going to need for the basic shape and one of them I'm going to need for the bottom. So you see, I cut out here two of the shapes, making sure that I don't care at all about the base, which I am actually going to chop off, and I will end up only with the flaps at the bottom. Now of course I need the base, so for that I'm going to use another cardstock, and I'm only going to cut out the base out of that. So I'm going to place it like that, I'm going to run it through my Big Shot, and it really doesn't matter what pattern paper you use for that since it's going to be the base and no one is going to see it. So I am going to uh, cut off with my scissors the excess. I will use my bone folder to reinforce all the scoring lines. I am going to add double sided tape on all the flaps just like I did for the first box and then when I put everything together I will make sure that I stick everything, all those little flaps, on top of the base. So you can see that you can use this die with your 6x6 pattern papers that you probably have already on your stash to create lovely favor boxes for any occasion. Now the box that I'm making now, just because I use this gorgeous cardstock, is going to be so pretty and elegant. Depending on the ribbon that you're going to add at the top, I think it would make a great favor for a wedding even. So I've found in my stash this very thin satin ribbon that I think uh, matches perfectly the color of the cardstock. I'm going to tie a little bow and you can see I have already cut out a little heart out of the same cardstock which I'm going to thread through, tie a little knot and my box is ready, really beautiful. And I'm going to show you the other one so you can see the different looks that you can get. But I'm going to show you a couple more examples, since these uh, boxes were so much fun, I just couldn't stop making more and more. Now I'm going to use this cardstock that was included in the kit. Again, I'm going to cut out twice the same shape, but in one of those uh, shapes, I'm going to use one of the ties that uh, give that beautiful lace looking window. So I'm going to place that there. And this is what you get when you die cut it and put the box together. A beautiful detail with butterflies on top. Again, I'm going to tie my ribbon to keep the box closed, but remember that you can use those details on every panel around the box if you wish so. And here is how beautiful this one looks. They are so pretty. Now, I am also going to show you another version of uh, these boxes, but this time I'm going to turn it into a more masculine looking one. So all you have to do is to just chop off the top where you see the lace. Just don't use the lace and you will end up with a simpler version of the same box. And since in this case I'm trying to keep everything super simple, I'm not going to die cut a window or anything else, just a very basic box here, which I'm going to put together and tie with the twine that was included in the kit. And since in this case I'm not trying to make it look romantic with lace and the bows, I'm not going to tie a bow but just a couple of knots. And here is my green box ready to go and I'm also going to bring in all the rest of the boxes that I made for today. Now here's another idea, remember the lace that I chopped off from the green one? You can easily use it as a decorative element on another box if you wish so. Just different uh, ideas there and you can also use that lace on top of a card if you want to. So here are all the boxes that I made for today. I hope that you had fun and you got inspired as I was playing with the latest craft kit by Tonic Studios. Here are some close-up photos on the projects that I made for today. 
Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow with a really fun art journal project.